All right, guys, so I wasn't going to record this. I did pick up a storage unit. It was $40, $100 for the security deposit, and crazy three PlayStations. guys so welcome back into the channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel smash the thumbs up button guys if you like this video and subscribe to the channel please um, so here is a stack of games right here I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you what's in this bag there was only it said PlayStation so I was assuming that it was gonna be a system and all I could really see was just games on top um, nobody was really bidding on it it was at $30 so I bid on top of that and on 40 um, with one minute to spare and it just counted down and that was it sometimes people will bid on bid on something and then they'll go to work or they'll do something and they'll forget about it they won't set a timer um, and, or they just don't want to spend that's their cap that's their proxy or proxy is like a max bid um, so I really didn't have to fight for it all I had to do is drive a half hour away but check this out um, there's a stack of games um, there's shadow hedgehog I mean there's just like there's there's good games in here um, this one is what's that Rayman legends ps4 so maybe there's more in here. I haven't even gone through the rest of the unit. I'm going to turn the camera around. Really crazy, guys. All right, so this was the bag that was in. Here's the unit. I'll show you guys the unit. This is what's left. Um, there's a couple fans. There's an air conditioner. There is, looks like it's some tools maybe, like a drill. Nothing really to clean out. Really fat, really easy. Um, it looks like the rest is probably just going to be tr maybe trash not really concerned about that because this is what i am concerned about there was some there was some gd paper stuff i'm gonna have to throw that out there's the mail but there's one slim hopefully they all work there's one ps2 slim there's a stack of games and then i was looking in here and there's a fat in here and then there's another slim so three playstation guys 40 bucks awesome deal um, we got to go through the rest of these games. Uh, that's a that's a PS3. That's a PS3 in there. And then we have this is brand new. Like I said, I think the rest of the stuff is just going to be junk. Um, here's some more paper. Um, just like we're not worried about. That's probably personal stuff. I'm not concerned with that. Um, and there's a wireless Logitech, which these can actually sh um, sh have some value. That's probably for the PS3. There's another Prince of Persia game. Um, there's another God of War, and there's a Ratchet and Clank. I just seen a bunch of this stuff online too, like somebody was selling a bunch of this type of stuff. Um, this is not, I don't think that this is the backwards compatible PS3, but this is really cool guys, like, yeah, really awesome. We're going to go through the rest of this stuff, I don't think that there's much there. Guys, right, so here was another little bag in there, we have the Dwayne. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. We have two movies. We have two movies. Inception, Act of Valor, Keanu Reeves. I've never even seen that movie. Broken Swords, Movie Collection, Ninja Turtles, Justice League, Pacific Rim, Jurassic Park. There's three film Rush Hour and Friday. All of the Fridays. That's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it there. All right, and then we have this bucket. We have some tools. Um, they're coming here for pulling things up. Nothing crazy. Ashtray. And then let's see what the rest of this stuff is. I know there's a couple box fans in here, which those are usually... I think that's going to end up being trash. Uh, all right, so that seems like it's empty. This, this could be worth money if it's... We'll probably just keep this. Um, we don't really need it now. That that season's kind of over. And I think, yeah, this is empty. But you have to clean everything out of the unit if you want to get your security deposit back. 
Oh man, this is making me want to get back into getting units. It's just exciting. And this is just a bunch of cords. I think there's a drill in here. Looks like a drill, maybe. Something, I don't know. So, nothing else crazy. We're gonna. And then there's an air conditioner, and I think the, the clothing and stuff is just gonna be yuck. It's probably gonna be, I'll probably just throw it out at the dumpster, so. All right, let's get these out of here and let's get the heck out of here. How's that? This is just a little stand. Nothing crazy. Probably just, I'll probably throw that out too. Not worth anything. And then, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is new. It's new. It is an air conditioner. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Still has the tape there. It looks like it might just be a little dirty. This is either new or it was barely used. Um, it's a 5,000 BTU. Let's, Let's get to the shop, throw the trash away, and get to these video games. All right, guys. So what I'm doing right now is I got everything cleaned up. Um, almost anyway, I'm gonna test them. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Um, this one is like really really dirty like Inside there it definitely needs to be um, Disassembled and cleaned on the inside it would it would really And I kind of pulled the plastic off right here. There was like a plastic covering covering that um, I don't think I Probably shouldn't have did that. Um But it was kind of coming off Anyway, and um, it had some writing on it. It does. It was. I, it seems like it was dropped. It's got a big. There's nothing really loose inside it. That's a good sign. Um, I have to look up the model to see how much is on it. It's a C E C H two thousand one A. So I'm not sure which one that is. We'll figure it out. We'll go from there. Um, and these are all, these are the same, these models, there's two of them. I don't believe that they made any, any different models, um, but we have two of them. There's no games in these. We're going to turn that one on and see if there's a game in it. I'm going to finish cleaning these wires. Um, there was also a drill. There was some odds and ends that were junk that I kind of just threw away. Another extension cord. Like we don't have enough of those. Um, I did find another controller. Um, I did find this black controller, but... It's got something loose in it, and it's got a, a wandering toggle, which is no good. Um, I can't sell it with one, so I'm going to have to... Those are going to be... These are going to be wired, so I'm going to need a wired one. You can do wireless, like something like this, but... Um, yeah, you need... Like, this one is wireless, but I don't think that there is... I don't know if this is going to sync directly to it. I don't know if this is supposed to have a dongle. Um, the dongle, yeah, the dongle, guys, not what you're thinking it is. The dongle is the receiver, the piece that plugs into the console that um, that catches the controller that, you know, receives the, you know, the, the connection or the, you know, for lack of better word. But that's not in there. But we do have an 8 gigabyte memory card for one of the twos. Um, I think I have another one of these. You don't have to include them. It, it, it probably would help because this is so they can save their games. Um, it does not have an internal memory. You have to use these memory cards. That's the only thing that sucked about the one and the two was that you needed that. Then when they made the three, they started getting closer to like more like a computer. Um, all this dirt. Yeah, I'm going to clean the rest of these. We have an extra... We have an extra wire for a PS2, so I'm going to hold on to that. Um, even if there wasn't one for these, um, I probably I probably have two of these set aside. And I know for a fact that I at least have one. So we're going to clean the wires up. All right, guys, so here is the first one. It is powering on. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm going to plug the, plug the controller in. They're just, like, really dusty and dirty. They may have been sitting in a storage unit for, you know, a really long time. Who knows what the situation was. 
So we have this Prince. I think I remember taking this game out, and it was in pretty good shape. Eh, it's okay. It may or may not play. It does have some scratches on it. I probably should have picked a better game, but let's see. This was a good investment right here. I got this at a yard sale. I think I paid five bucks for this. It has the remote and everything. The remote somewhere. I think it's sitting around here somewhere. Is that the one I need? No. But I do need another cord like this for one of the other ones because I don't have enough cords. All right, so let's see. We don't have a signal. It may be on HDMI. We're going to have to change the... It is on audio video. It might be... Hold on. It might be S, S video. No. Is it DVD? It's not DVD. Um, I don't think it's that either. I think it is the, uh, it's the other one. It's audio video. Which it's not working. Maybe the, the cord, there it goes. That's what it is. Insufficient space on the memory card. It works. It's reading the disc. There we go, guys. This one works. I'm just going to see if we can at least play it. Controller's working pretty good. I think it had a, a bad toggle. Yeah, the toggles aren't so great on this one. All right, so we want to... We want to start a new game. It works. It's reading the disc. It's, I think, maybe that one plug or the connecting. There you go. Check them out. Dun, 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 dun. It works. All right. Yeah, that's not exactly what you say for this game, but, you know, whatever. And we're going to test the drill. It works. And, all right. So this is the next one. I'm going to turn it on. And I have a feeling they're all going to work. All right, so there's that. I have the controller plugged in. It should go straight to the game and not to the menu. Sometimes they do that. Yeah. It shouldn't do that. I think it should go straight to the game. Reading disc. There is no data. All right, so PlayStation 2 disc. Okay, there it is. They work kind of like a computer, too, so. All right, let's see. Come on, guys. All right, so this one works, too. This is, this is TAC. It is complete. Um, I don't think it's a, an expensive game. I'm going to go through all the games and try to find the best one. There was a GameCube game, but it's missing. It had, um, it had like, Sly or something in it. It says the memory card is not, it is inserted. Maybe it's not in slot one. Which one is slot one? Which one is slot two? Let me see. Whoops. It's memory card. You know what? Let me say. I didn't put it in wrong, did I? All right, it doesn't matter. All right, now it's accessing. Memory card is not inserted. All right, we're just going to play without it. I'm going to have to check on that and make sure that it will read the memory card. The disc could not be read. All right, so this disc is kind of bad. We're going to get another one. All right, guys, so far with this one, I'm not, it's not, oh, now it's reading the disc. Um, with these older systems, if you have discs that are dirty, that um, have scratches that are too deep, like there's, there's a lot of things that will play into factor. Um, and they will not play. Like, um, But I did get this one to play. It played right away. I just reset it. Um, I think this is God of War or something like that. It keeps saying there's no memory card, though. If you wish to save game data, insert a memory card with at least a free continue. Maybe it's saying that because the, 
because the memory card is full. That could be a possibility. So don't want to talk to you. Um, this is Sonic. All right, so this is Shadow. I don't know what this game is worth, but we do know that this system does work. They're just really dirty, guys. Like, they were sitting in a storage unit probably for 10, you know, they could have been there for 10 years. Who knows? So, but from the looks of them, they were really, really dirty, which means that they're, they have a lot of dust on the inside, and that plays a key factor in the functionality of these systems. So, what we're going to do is we're going to test the, the PS3. I'm going to look and see what model it is and what it's worth. We do know if we get these working um, up to par, I could probably get a hundred bucks a piece for them just for the console without controllers and stuff. So, you know, let's let's test the PS3. All right, guys. So we got the PS3 to work. It's set up. I only had a white cord, but I do have a wireless controller. That is the exact one that it comes with. So. There you have it. It works. Um, let's see if the game works. We're going to look for... Actually, I wanted to see if there's a game in it, but I had to set it. It needed to be set up. Nope. If it beeps like that, that means there's no game in it. But... Alright, guys. So we're going to have to steal a game from the old... I'm pretty sure I have it. probably have a PS3 in here. Game. Oh. No. No. Running wild. Wow. You know what? It's funny too because I just I just sold PS3 games this morning and I already shipped, I already wrapped them. I have PS5, PS4, I have this play beyond PS2, I have a PS1 and a PSP game. So I actually don't I don't even have a game to test it. Um, I could probably put a CD in it and see if it will at least read a disc. But that's not really going to make a difference. So, yeah, I'm actually going to look and see. I need to see what model this is. All right, guys. So it's the 120 gig. It's about a hundred bucks. Um, if I put a controller with it and some games, I might get 150 for it. Something like that. Um, it just depends on the buyer. It depends on the condition. The condition's not great, so we're probably looking at about a hundred bucks. Either way, we only spent 40. Remember, we still have the air conditioner. Um, we have this. We have the two smaller consoles. The Slim um, PS2 is actually a very sought-after model. They should probably, they're probably going to sell really fast. So, um, with that being said, I don't think that any of these games have too much value. It would have been nice if this one would have been there. I don't know the value of that, but that's a GameCube game. Um, I'll have to look the Rayman game up. I'll just do some research on these. We have Time Splitters. Um, we have Final Fantasy X. It was only a $15 game at one time, so I'm not sure... If that has tons of value. There's a couple Spyro games. These cases, and they're, they're going to need cleaned. So I'm going to have to clean all this so, stuff up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash the thumbs up button and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad that you stopped in. Peace out.